Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker. It is Saturday, April 11th, 2020, and I'm going to be seasoning five skillets at one time. And, you know, this is a good tip for a lot of you that have maybe one or two skillets to season. You can also add extra layers on skillets that could use more layers of protection. You're using the oven anyway, and if you have the room in your oven, throw in a few extra skillets. So right now, uh, I'll show you what I'm seasoning. I'm adding another layer to my little number two Nestle. And you can see it's getting darker as I use it to make Egg McMuffins. And it's a little companion here, the Food Network skillet. I wire wheeled these to make them a little smoother. But I would like them a little bit darker and add some more protection. And the more seasoning on, the smoother they become. Then I have a number 10 large slant logo Griswold here it's number 10 and it's a beautiful skillet I've never actually used it but it's dry as as anything and I'm just going to add another uh, layer of seasoning because I feel like it so I'll put that over here and then I have my Erie the second series, I think it's either the first or the second series, made between 1886 and 1892. It's a true antique, and I picked this up in an estate sale, and I can't bear to part with it, even though it has a mini outside heat ring on it. But yep, I'm going to go ahead and add another layer of seasoning to this one. So we're going to put that there for now. And then my number 8 Griswold that I just stripped and we want to get a base coat of seasoning on it. So I did set my oven to 200 degrees and it's heating up. And we're going to go ahead and put these in and get them going. You need at least 15 minutes at 200 degrees to heat these up enough to season them. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in. Put that one in there. So you can see. And then we're going to put the Erie in next to it. This is a, sorry for the camera, I'm wearing the GoPro, so it's hard to. Now guys, they're all in the oven. So I've got my Erie, Griswold number eight, the two small number twos, and the large Erie down there. So I'm going to go ahead and let them finish warming up. I'm going to use Crisco. I'm going to go ahead and, and finish this one up. This is almost gone. And I'm going to use a rag that I've just started to use recently. But after this seasoning, probably will have to discard it for another one. And I will be back when they're ready to add the first coat of seasoning after the timer goes off. 200 degrees at 15 minutes. And we'll go ahead and put on a layer and take off a layer. All right. I'll be back. Okay, timer's gone off. So what we're going to do is just going to cancel. Well, actually, we're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and push the beeper off. And I'm going to start seasoning these guys up. So taking them out one at a time. Here's the Griswold. We're going to do it uh, cooking surface first. Notice how the uh, Crisco soaks right in. Now we're going to go ahead and wipe it off before we do the bottom. You only want a very thin layer on as you do this. And look at the uh, your shop towels. We'll show some residue, and we're going to go ahead and do the backside now. 
And the rest of the skillets are pretty much the same thing. One thing I like about Crisco is the fact that it stays, doesn't go rancid. You can keep it on your countertop. It's good for a long, long time. And it produces such good, even, consistent seasoning on your skillets. Such even seasoning. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and wipe that all off. Easy on, easy off. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go ahead and this is folded two towels four times so you actually have eight surfaces. We're going to use the, the, this side on the next one. Okay, we're going to put this back in. Just make sure it's all wiped off and even. And we're going to do it again after 300 degrees. Put it back in. And I'm going to do the same thing on the rest of the skillet, so enjoy. Okay, the beeper's just gone off. They've been in the uh, oven now at 300 degrees with the first coat of seasoning on for about 16 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and keep the oven on. We're going to go ahead and take them out. And we're going to go ahead and wipe off any of the excess seasoning. And it's starting to smoke in there, which is a good sign because it means the seasoning is smoking onto the skillet. But you want to wipe them off. Go ahead and show you the skillet at this stage because sometimes the seasoning will, you know, start to melt in there and roll around on your skillet. And it could, you know, form uneven edges or lines and that kind of thing. And you want to make sure that it's going to, I did the wrong side first. <laughs> Should have done the other side first. So 
I'm going to go, I'll just have to go back and do it again. And that's why I do it that way, because of these uh, silicone pads that protect my countertop. But just try to wipe it on, wipe it off, make sure it's all even. I've got to do it again, because I don't like the uh, indentations that it forms. Just make sure it's all even, because the way it's going to bake now at 450 degrees for an hour, it'll bake into place, and you don't want, see, it's extra residue that will still come off at this stage. That's why I give these guys, uh, when I sell them especially, four to five coats of seasoning. Um, and for me, I actually do four to five coats of seasoning for everyone. And now the oven is getting warm, so I'm going to go ahead and change hands on the glove. Go ahead and pull the other one out, and we're going to go ahead and do, and I'm going to go ahead and use now, I'm going to use, this is the Erie. We're going to go ahead and wipe it back off. Any seasoning that's pooled on any areas of the skillet, you just want to make sure it's even. And I'm pretty OCD about my how my skillets look. So, all right. This is the Erie Antique Pre Griswold, made by same company. That's before they called them Griswold. It's a star series. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put put this guy back in. This is the uh, Erie Griswold. This one is probably about 1906. Both antiques. So you can see kind of there. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of pooling there from the seasoning. And you want to make sure that's all smoothed out. And you don't want to see things that look like waves or cackling, that's a, a glass term, in your cast iron cookware. So get it all off of there. I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom. This is just, I've never used it. I was so happy to have found this one and also the uh, Erie, Antique Erie. I just like to look at them. I can't bear to part with them. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and put that back in. Go ahead and change the glove one more time. And you have to rotate the glove back and forth. Because it does the skills are starting to get very warm. So they're at 300 degrees, and we're going to heat up the oven even more when this is all said and done. These, one thing about a sand finish, even though I've wire wheeled it on these two, I don't wire wheel anything vintage, um, is you don't see indentations or thumbprints or anything like that too readily. Put that back in. Take the other one out. This is pretty much it. Just wipe everything on and off, smooth it out on the second pass. You only put it on the first time after it's been in for about 18 minutes at 200 degrees. Second time you're just smoothing it out, make sure it looks even. That's it. Put it back in. Uh, let me see if I can kind of move that. I gotta reorganize them. A little bit. There. Just want to make sure you have enough room for all the skillets when you do them. There we go. So now I will cancel it, start it up again so I'm on the right temperature. That's my oven. You have to do what your oven lets you do. OK. 
Okay, it's going to be 450 degrees. And we're going to put it in for an hour and five minutes. And we're going to let them bake in there. And I turn the vent hood on when I do this because it gets kind of smoky and you don't want to smoke out your house. <laughs> and you don't want to do this in the middle of the summer either. It'd be real hot. So here we go. So it's going to be uh, an hour and five minutes in the oven at 450 degrees. And then I'll let them sit in there for 10 minutes. I'll turn the oven off and let them cool off in the oven for about 10 minutes. Okay, guys, they're all done. Uh, they were in the oven uh, on the final pass for one hour and five minutes at 450 degrees. And I've just recently taken them out after cooling them down for about 10 minutes. Uh, you want to give them some time to, ideally, you just want to let them cool off in the oven in its entirety. But I've found that sometimes the seasoning will kind of move around in the pan as it as it melts and bakes on to the cast iron skillet so I want to smooth it over so I took it out of the oven and I smoothed it over and this I'll show you each one and they're still hot so I got to use my lodge pan handle this is the food skillet number two and it's a little bit darker the each time you season and the more you cook with it the blacker and smoother they get and here is the, get it here. I have a pizza in the oven now, so that's why I had to crowd these on the uh, stove top here. Uh, but this is the number two, Nestle. Um, and it's, it was cheap, it was 99 cents at the thrift store. And uh, it's perfect for my Egg McMuffins, I love it. So that's that. And then we have the rare Erie oops antique griswold it looks just superb and I, I had to wipe it out a little bit because it was a little uneven and here is the back side of it you can see as you can see over here so we're going to let it cool down some more and this one is the erie griswold these are all griswold it's just the one in the back this one here is an Erie, which is the earliest series. This is the number two in the series of six skillets made before these. This was 1906. That was 18, 1886 to uh, 1892 on this one. This one is a pre um, Erie Griswold slant logo, number 10. You can see it. And I love it. And I just figure I'll just add another layer to it. And this one here is the um, later, 1940 to 1955 or so, a small logo, Griswold. And here it is, just after one coat of seasoning. And I had to smooth it out a little bit on the seasoning on the skillet. And here it is on the back get a new it, it pretty much spent my two paper towels shop towels so we're going to go ahead and start two more and this should uh, carry on for another round of seasoning at least of you know five different skillets here but you can see here's a little spot I just happened to notice and it's just always good to rub it out and it'll start to look more brown, bronzish brown as the seasoning goes on. So yeah, this one here is the one I just got and this one here I had to smooth over so there they are. Um, a nice round of seasoning and just improves them over time. Alright guys. Uh, please give me a thumb up if you like content like this. Leave a question or comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks and go make it a great day.